What's up, guys? Jono here. We touched briefly on uh, Borg Warner's um, Boost Advisor, which I thought was a really cool little app. Um, but now I wanted to show you the Borg Warner version. It's a lot more complex, um, but it's way, way nicer, and I'll explain why in a second. Shall we jump in? All right, guys. Um, so I want to give you two scenarios. The first is going to be the 1.3 liter sort of starlet. Um, so we'll go 13, 1.332 uh, liters. Where I am, our temperature is 50 Fahrenheit. And my altitude is 100 feet above sea level. Rightio. So... Off the bat, um, if you remember, Garrett gave us two points on the turbo map. It gave us the mid-range and it gave us the top end. There were two dots and there was a red line joining those two dots. This is way better. We've got actually six data points which we can run through. Um, a lot of this is actually auto-generated, but we can tweak it as we're going. So, doing a bit of background shopping, um, I thought that a Borg Warner EFR 6758 would be a good turbo match for this little engine. Um, and as we can see over here, the turbine wheel outlet is 58 millimeters. Um, and we can select sort of a, let's go for a 0.65, sorry, a 0.64 AR turbine housing. So, just keep that in mind. Right here, 1332, 10 Fahrenheit, sorry, 50 Fahrenheit and 100 feet above sea level. So what we can do is we have to just go through our outputs. So that's a maximum power output of 264 horses. So yeah, not a bad little turbo, but that, that, again, um, that again depends because we can manually change our boost here. Um, boost, the boost pressure is only set to 17 as stock from from the app so we can tinker with these bits here right so we need to select our turbo now so if i run through this um, radio so the turbo we were looking at was a 6758 so the borg warner efr 6758 from the list Okay, so off the bat, we can already see that we are going to be struggling to get boost in at 2,000 and potentially 3,000 RPM. Uh, well, we will get boost, but we won't be in the efficiency island of boost because this is the choke point of the turbo. Sorry, surge line. Um, there's a final feature to this app, so I've just got to basically minimize. Um, we have to just tune the ports for the turbine or sort of like the wastegate ports so how we do this and if you can just allow me to zoom in and then zoom out um, we've got our turbine si sizing and turbine diameter housing okay so for in our case we've got 58 millimeters all right 58 millimeters and it was from off the top of my head um, 0.64 ar so just bear that in mind I'm going to be zooming out and a bit further and we'll tune. Now watch the watch the sixth dot over here as we're tuning. We need to make it touch that line. So I'm going to do that for all of them actually. And then we know like how the turbo will perform once we hit these lines. There may be instances where um, it'll actually give you a not applicable. And the reason is, is because your target boost over here, let me just zoom back in. Your target boost over here of 5 PSI might not be attainable with the turbine size and the turbine wheel. All right, so if we look here again, um, we can see 1000, sorry, 2000 RPM. Um, we're going to have a little bit of boost, 5 PSI. Um, 3000 will be 10 PSI. And then going from 3000 all the way to 7. We're going to be on that efficiency island of the turbo and in, in good boost. In accordance with the calculated outputs, um, we will have a max horsepower of 264. So, yep, so I'll leave that, I'll leave that with you guys so you it can marinate with you. Um, and then we'll go on to our next scenario. So, 
Scenario two, um, we have a 5e FE and we want to boost it, so we want to convert it to a turbo. So it's 1.49, sorry, 1.497 cc's or liters. Radio, where I am again, it's um, 50 degrees Fahrenheit and 100 feet above sea level. Um, yeah, a kidoki. So when we go to our turbos, I actually thought, because the first one was the EFR or Warner range, um, I figured why not look at the Airworks. Uh, it's a bit of a big one, but it could work. Well, we will see how it will work. Um, the S200 SX E52 millimeter. Um, so note the turbine housing size of um, 70 millimeters. So turbine wheel 70 millimeters, and our AR A to R ratio is a is the 0.83. So let's go on to Matchbox. Just put those figures into the system. All right. So we're gonna again have to tune our ports so I'm going to have to oh yeah sorry let me just go and select the turbo guys apologies Borgwana S200 SXE so this is effectively what we're going to get um, from 2000 RPM we're going to struggle to get boost from 3000 we can technically get around about 5 PSI so it'll be starting to be coming on, on to boost. 4,000, uh, we're going to be hitting quite well on the actual, I mean, we'll be, we'll be sitting at about one bar, one bar of boost. Um, 5,000, we're going to be doing, yeah, around about 1.2 bar. And it stays there again, because you can choose the boost levels that you want to get to. Um, so what I would like to do now as well is just quickly tune the ports. What we do remember, just zooming in, is the turbine housing is 80 millimeters, sorry, 70 millimeters, and our AR is 0.83. That comes from the factory. So we have to make these dots hit this line over here. So I'll zoom out again, and we just tinker with these. So if you look at dot number six, it's slowly coming up to the line. Dot five coming up to the line, four. Dot three. Dot two, well, that's a bit low on the graph, but fine. And then dot one, it says NA at the moment. And the reason why it says NA is because it's going to struggle to even get one PSI boost. Let's just double check. No, wait, we could. Just bear with me. Just looking to see if that line matches. Oh, uh, no, we can. We can actually hit one PSI boost. We're going to have to be doing 48% waste gating, though, according to the, the app. Um, so if we look at our calculator compressor match, compressor match, yeah, so 2,000 RPM over there, we're going to be like just touching boost. 3,000 almost onto it. 4,000, 5,000, 6,000, 7,000. Quite happily and heartily running boost. Um, we'll be running through our compressor, sort of our um, efficiency island. And again, on the, um, the boost gauge, 1.2 bar boost. And yeah, I think you'll, you'll, you'll do quite well with a turbo like this. Um, yeah, uh, also if I had to compare, uh, generally speaking, the Borg Warner Airworks range are quite a lot cheaper than the um, the EFR, which means engineered for racing range. Um, so yeah, but I definitely think it's nicer to look for a turbo on Matchbot than it is on the Garrett range. Because Garrett recommends turbos, whereas you can set your parameters on Borg Warner Matchbot and you can make your you can sort of superimpose your turbo and make your turbo match your outputs. Um, guys again once again thank you for watching. Um, I appreciate you guys. Um, if you've got any questions or queries drop me a line on Instagram or 
or um, any comments and I'll be happy to answer you. Peace out. Bye.